Welcome to a brand new episode of Bobdale Gloves Go Edmonton. I'm your host, Dana Giesbrecht, and today we are in Fort Saskatchewan for an exciting game of slow pitch. However, we're here today to learn about Andy's playground. At the age of 23, sadly, Andy Polanski passed away in a car crash last April, but it was his dream to build a playground on these diamonds. His friends, his family, and his entire community has gotten behind this dream, and on today's show, we're going to let you know how you can get behind it, too. But our lead story today is about a new app for condo dwellers that helps connect them to each other and to their condo boards. So here's volunteer producer Heidi Johansson with your hot button question. And that brings us to our first story. Shot TV's Bianca Jade brings us a brand new Made in Edmonton segment where we learn about a helpful new app for condo dwellers. Stay tuned. Coming up in the show, we're going to learn exactly what kind of person Andy Polanski is. We're going to be speaking with his sister, Dawn Pinder. But before that, Shaw TV's Tim Danzi brings us to a dinosaur bone bed right here in our own city. Oh, didn't like that pitch. Welcome back to the show. If you're just tuning in now, we are in Fort Saskatchewan today, and we're here to get you excited for an event called Andy's Playground. Andy Polanski, at only 23 years old, his dream was to build a playground on this slow pitch diamond, a passion in his life. Sadly, though, he passed away last April. However, his friends and family are trying to keep his dream alive. And coming up at the show, we're going to be speaking with Dawn Pinder, his sister. She's going to let you know just what kind of person Andy was. So stay tuned for that. But right now, we have our final Mayor's Award for you. We're taking a look at a local sports center that accepts all athletes of all abilities. Coming up next, an adventure-seeking cyclist finds a new community close to home. Here's Shaw TV videographer Alexa McLean. How many 23-year-olds do you know that would donate their time to help build a playground for kids in their area? I don't know many, but we're here today to talk about one special person, Andy Polanski, and I am joined by his sister, Don Pinder. Tell me a little bit about your brother and what kind of person he was. You know, he really was an amazing person. He was a go-getter. He was so full of life and spirit. Um, he was one of those people that could walk into a room and have, light it up with his laugh and his personality so he was just absolutely amazing and what happened to andy um tragically andy was in a motor vehicle accident uh april 30th of last year um yeah and later passed on uh may 3rd okay uh he did he made sure that he signed a very special piece of paper so that he could continue to help people after he was yeah. gone he definitely, and he also had the conversation uh, with his girlfriend and with family um, and was able to be an uh, organ and tissue donor um, and will touch lives up to 80 people. Why are we here today to raise money for this playground? Why was this playground so special for Andy? Well, uh, over a year ago, uh, Andy, as the president of uh, this slow pitch league, um, just saw the need for a playground, all the children that come with their parents uh, to their games. Uh, he just wanted to give them a fun and safe place to go. So he uh, was in the works uh, with the, some members of the city of Fort Saskatchewan to build a playground. So um, we want to pick up where he left off and uh, just recognize an exceptional young man's spirit while giving, you know, children fun place to play. How many people do you know that would take their time, especially in their early 20s, to try and get a playground for kids who are going to watch baseball, a sport that he was so passionate about? Exactly, and that was Andy. He saw the need. He had that special gift that just, he saw the need for anyone that needed help. So he was always volunteering his time, coaching around the community and stuff. And, you know, last year he decided, I want to build a playground. That's incredible. <laughs> uh, you have already began fundraising, and the big event is this Saturday here in yes. Fort Saskatchewan at this ball diamond, the uh, Centennial Slow Pitch Diamond. Tell me a little bit about what families can come and experience on that day because it's going to be an event that the whole city can come enjoy, anyone in the capital region. Absolutely. It's just going to be a fun, family-filled day. Um, there's going to be bouncy castles and face painting for kids, a balloon artist, uh, live local bands, some youth bands. Uh, so it's just going to be a fun-filled day uh, for families and yeah admission is free and we want everybody to come out 
And how much money are you trying to raise to build that playground? Um, for the fundraiser, $25,000, um, but I'll ultimately our goal is $200,000. And why $200,000? It will just build a really awesome park for kids. Okay. So, yeah. The bigger the better, <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Don, where can people go for more information about the event and everything that's happening and how to donate to this cause? Uh, we have a website. It's www.apcf.ca. Um, there's lots of information on there on the fundraiser and how to donate. So, um, and numbers to call if, uh, if you want to get a hold of us. Thanks so much for your time. Yeah. Stay tuned. More to come here on Go. Welcome back. This is Ed Polanski, Andy Polanski's father. The team in red with all of their peas on their jerseys coming in. And once again, we are in Fort Saskatchewan, getting you excited for Andy's Playground. It's a charitable fundraiser that's happening this Saturday. It was Andy's dream to build a playground on this ball diamond so kids could come and play while they were here for their parents, their friends, their family's ball games. Uh, stay tuned for Ed's interview. He's coming up in just a moment. But before we get to that, Shaw TV's Brad Walker takes us to the Edmonton Fencing Club. And as promised, we are now here with Ed Polanski, Andy's father. Tell me a little bit about your son's passion for baseball and why he loved this sport so much. Well, Andy, he uh, loved uh, baseball, played baseball all through minor, minor leagues. Uh, started, started him off at T-ball and he uh, enjoyed playing ball all his uh, career. Uh, took him to baseball ourselves. I was a baseball player, so uh, he used to join us at baseball tournaments and of course that's the idea of the playground. He always wanted to go to a playground when we played tournaments. So. so when he was little and coming to your baseball games, when maybe he wasn't into the sport as much as, as he was later on, he wanted a playground to play on, so he figured other kids must want one too. Yeah, sure. He, uh, he was at a playground all the time. He liked playing when we came to the tournament, so Andy loved, uh, he loved to play. Yes. And did you always see that, that sense of giving in him growing up? He was always such a giver and wanted, wanted for other people just as much as for his family and friends. Yes, always. Andy always was uh, like to volunteer, like to give, like to uh, help others. Yeah, very, very much. What is it going to mean to you to see this playground once it's constructed here on this ball diamond? Well, it'll be a memory for us. And anything else you would like to say to people to come out who are watching at home and, and come support Andy's Playground? Well, it's uh, so nice to have the community together uh, come out and help, help us build a play playground for Andy. Let's leave a fingerprint for Andy. Ed, thanks so much for your time. Thanks, Dina. All right, don't forget to come down with your friends and your family to support Andy's Playground, the event, this Saturday. Again, the place to come is the Dow Centennial Slow Pitch Diamonds here in Fort Saskatchewan. For more information, go to apcf.ca. I'm your host, Dana Giesbrecht. We'll see you next time.